with the making love video making love was a very important song to me on the record um just as a as a writer i've always written from a, a dark place like if i was hurting or if i was angry or upset or whatever that's why i would sit down and write to like work through it but then singing those songs every night for 10 years i was like man i'm stuck in this headspace because i'm so vulnerable and writing from these like you know just like struggle but and it's amazing because i could connect with people who had been through the same thing and we get to turn this turmoil into like a house party every night with strangers and new friends so it's amazing but i was still saying those words and i i am a firm believer of of the power in words and i like speaking them seeps into you it seeps into the rooms around you like it has an effect um so it was like all right with with my project moving forward um even if i don't feel good even if i don't feel powerful and sensual and fucking whatever what if i just wrote from a place <laughs> as if i did and i'm going to say those words every night for years and eventually i'm going to be that badass bitch and immediately like writing these songs of just like what would i tell what do i want to tell like my niece when she comes to me with something happening at school like what would i tell my best friends if they're having a bad day or a breakup or someone gets their heart broken like how do i want the my people i care about to feel about themselves when i wrote from that place and making love was the was the first one it was just like know how powerful you are how beautiful how like inspirational everyone like whoever whatever whatever you are wherever you came from wherever you love i don't give a shit you're fucking perfect and just like uh, and watching the band learn it in the studio like teaching the song to people before it was even recorded i could see the words like working everyone was like feeling themselves and like just i was just like oh this is it it's working it's great okay and when shutdown happened and everyone so separated it was like i like i can't put this out and share it with everyone but the whole point of this song is to make everybody feel good about themselves and it's one of those like dance in your room and feel yourself and drink tequila and whatever sing into a hairbrush with your girls do whatever it was like so i can get people to have that experience to this song and send it in and we can mash it all together and it'll feel like this big celebration of self and it worked like there was a couple friends that were in the video but most of the people i've never met before and to see people and you know there was like families that did full choreography uh boys who dressed in drag for the first time and loved it like it was just a celebration a friend of mine who lost a leg a few years ago she opens the video that was her first time dancing without a prosthetic and it was just like so many powerful things and you can feel it and love it and and everybody genuinely loves themselves in this video and it's just i still have the submissions on my computer and i'll like open them up and just watch them cuz i have like three and a half minutes of people just feeling good and looking amazing um I'm, like piecing it together with my friend uh barbara who made the video it was just so emotional every clip was like oh i love them like i just want to show everyone the whole time cuz they're amazing so beautiful like what a celebration of life and love I was very pleased with the final result. That's my that's my that's the Sir Woman Choir. That's the Spice and Roy. They sing back up and they're unbelievable. They're unbelievable. I'm I I'm so lucky to have them in the in the crew. Uh They and they they bring they just like embody Sir Woman every room they walk in. They just make people smile like leave every room better than they found it at all times. It's uh it's inspirational. It's so fun taking this crew out on the road because we all have that goal of like just lifting, just lifting, just healing people, just showing them a good time, making them feel good. And it it shows. Like at the end of shows, it just turns into a big dance party on the floor. Everybody's like singing, clapping, dancing, like just uh, every it just feels like church every time and like very spiritual experience. 
I've been writing these songs for a couple years. Uh, I had a lot of them in my pocket for a while, but I knew I knew I couldn't give them to any of the bands that I was in because I I've always had more hip hop, soul, funk influences as the music I was raised on it and the only thing I would listen to no one would know that because I've been in a ukulele folk band for 10 years and then like a rock and roll super group but I don't actually listen to rock and roll or folk never have um I appreciate pop I love good pop um but yeah I had these tunes that were like too precious to me and um the way I I am in bands is I want everyone to be creatively inspired and have their own freedom to like do with what they want but with these songs I was like I don't want any I don't want anyone to do what they want on them like I'm so they're so precious to me um and I knew I wanted I like I love gospel and soul like that's just the most important music to me in the world it's the reason I exist <laughs> 